Hey guys, it's Sarah. I wanted to talk about something that in visual art I've been learning um, last year. What you're looking at right now is a beautiful image of Emily Powell, one of my favorite artists, one of her florals, which is fantastic. And one of the things I learned from her is that she takes inspiration from other painters. So she, I had a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with her last year, or in, actually was, was it this year? I think it was in the spring. And she said she recommended me getting, you know, lots of art books, like follow artists that I'm interested in and use that for inspiration. And it was kind of really, it was interesting. Then I started, to, she recommended a few of the artists that she liked. And I started looking back at Emily's old work, her original, like some of her earlier works. And my gosh, they were like so similar to her heroes. In other words, she was looking at their paintings and figuring out how were, were they doing what they were doing, like she was replicating it. Now that's not the same as copying, but it's like she was taking inspiration from them. And uh, I just had no idea that artists did that. I thought, oh my gosh. But then I found that this is something very common in the art world. Like if you love Matisse, you might start out by doing Matisse-like images like studying his work and then trying to do something with your own um you know in your own with your own like likes and dislikes or you know so anyway I uh, did something based on this I was like okay I love this work so I was like let's see what we can do um with a floral and you can see there's so many like I basically took her composition not fully but like took the ideas and then added my own. Like, you know, I've got a stripey wallpaper and you can see that my floral doesn't exactly extend every corner of the canvas, but there's a lot of similarities. The orange flowers, you know, there's um, some blue density in the middle and just like by learning um, and playing this way, again, you can see they're not exact, they're not identical. I wasn't trying to paint exactly what she had painted, but I was using a lot of her ideas and this result I was super happy with and like I really was pleased, which is so fun. Then yesterday I tried the same idea. I'm just gonna try to show you this in a low tech way. So I was um, reading up on Frida Kahlo and I just love this gorgeous, I love the colors and everything about this, like the composition, the birds. Um, you know, Frida did a lot of stuff that was, you know, sourced from her heritage. Um, you know, of Mexican, you know, folk painting. And I just loved it. So I was like, let's see if I can do something like that. And I spent the entire day. And when I say the entire day, I mean like nine till <laughs> four in the afternoon doing this. So instead of having a self-portrait in the center, I put this house, which is an idea I've been exploring about boundaries and, you know, and the idea that if we can kind of confine things and put some boundaries around them, we have more love. And I absolutely do not like it. Like, I just wanted to share that like, this does not work for me. I don't like the results. Um, I think what I'm probably gonna do is paint out the center and start over again with that. There's just something that's just falling flat for me. But this, I remember at the end of the day, just feeling so defeated, like, oh my gosh, I've wasted a whole day. Even though most of the day I was having a blast, just like painting this weird background, painting these funky birds, like trying to kind of emulate. Again, the composition is, I mean, if you look at it, it's kind of really, she has so much blue and purple in this and I have a lot more yellow. It's very different, even though I was really trying to go for the same thing. Um, anyway, it's just part of that frustration and who knows, maybe I'll paint the whole thing over I don't know what's going to happen, but this is part of learning and not every experiment we do is something that's going to be pleasing. Um, this other experiment, like I said, super pumped about, love it, like feel excited every time I see it. This one, not so much, needs some work. So just the creative process, like where is it that you might want to explore what other artists maybe it's like as Inger says like reading material that you love like reading some David Sedaris if you want to bring more humor into your work and study like what's he doing and how is he doing that and trying to emulate that somehow in your own work um so even it could be fun to do a series I've seen artists do that like do a Picasso inspired floral then do a 
Emily Powell inspired animal, then do a, you know, you can design whatever you want. But um, anyway, I just wanted to share, this is my process with you guys and let me know if anything resonates or is helpful to you.